Salutations everyone and thank you for watching episode 35 of DiabeticRadio.com. Today's episode is about fat or sugars. Which one is deserves the higher priority? You know, I found a website called Healthy at Every Size. I think it's um, H A E S Community. Uh, dot org. It's a very interesting website. It's um, it's 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 a whole movement of people that believe that despite the fact that one could be heavy set, you can still be healthy and and eat healthier. Which I've always believed. They have people that come in and they sign up and 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 they uh, give their own resources and information as to how to live their life healthier despite being heavy or really at at, at any uh, size and um, I was quite impressed I mean it's not an elaborate website it's kinda uh, small and um, I, I, I like the concept and um, it, it got me to uh, thinking you know um, we often forget about the emotional and psychological aspect of, of being heavy we forget about the um, uh, some of the causes for being overweight. Some of us have thyroid issues. Some of us have uh, are taking medications that um, unfortunately make us gain weight or keep the weight. Some of us, for for whatever reason, have to take steroids for medical reasons, and all of those things um, can add to weight gain that we often forget about. And I think. It's important to remember that not everyone who's overweight will develop diabetes. You know, this is this is a myth. It's it's almost you know people trying to convince you that if you 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 fat you're you're bound to get it, and this is not true. And at the same time, um, this is not to, to deter anyone, or, or I'm not trying to say uh, to give a message that you shouldn't eat healthier or exercise or live healthier. Obviously there's a lot of benefits to being thinner um, but it's a myth to um, to tell people that or assume that um, just because you're you're heavy automatically you're gonna get uh, diabetes. Um, health in my opinion is not about what's on the outside you know, looking at someone for the outside, you can't determine someone's health by by that because someone who is skinny can have a hell of a lot more health problems than someone who's fat. You know, it's about what's in the inside as well as the outside. You know, there's always been this debate as to whether or not uh, fat causes diabetes but or, or insulin resistance. Um, and I'm here to tell you that fat, fat and insulin resistance, they're two entirely different things. They can seem like they're the same, but they're, but they're not. Fat does not mean insulin resistance. Okay, yes, it's true when, you're, when, when you are, if you are a diabetic, and you're overweight, fat does make it difficult because the insulin can't enter, um, can't get to the to the cell to unlock it to be able to allow the to get the glucose in when there's fat around the cell. But that's one issue, okay? And fat could, uh, fat is oftentimes not all the time, but many times there's a genetic factor that's involved. In, 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 in you know when someone gains weight um, but the other side is what we call insulin resistance insulin resistance is a form of uh, protection it's, it's a defense mechanism that the body has just like when you have a cold you know when you cough and you have that mucus or when you sneeze you blow your nose you have all the mucus gunk that comes out when you have the flu well that's the body's way of 
uh, getting rid of the invading germs that's in your body. Um, when you exercise and you sweat, you know, your body opens its pores to release heat so that your body doesn't overheat. Same thing, you know, when you move your bowels, you release toxins that is harmful for your, for, uh, for your body. Well, insulin resistance is the same thing. Your body uh, is protecting itself from glucose overload. When there's too much glucose over time in the body, your, 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 your cells is going to stop you know, responding to the insulin because it knows that it's too much. Hence, your blood sugar rise higher and higher and higher. And the only uh, a real effective way, natural way, of, of um, decreasing that insulin resistance is to exercise. Um, you don't necessarily have to pump iron in a gym, but you should at least walk, you know, walk a, um, a good five, six blocks, you know, a day or, or, you know, do little exercises in the house. When you do, uh, or even better, when you do strength training, strength training, um, to my understanding, doesn't um, help with weight loss because you need cardiovascular type exercises for weight loss. But when you strength train, it does cause your muscles to be in more insulin sensitive, which is what we want. Because once your uh, muscles your, uh, are insulin sensitive, then you, your, your blood sugars are quickly and almost immediately are, uh, is affected by that exercise. Because The fat um, it prevents the insulin from even getting near the cell to get insulin. So um, that is whole fat is a whole totally different thing from being insulin resistant. You know, and sometimes people they confuse the two, and um, again, they're not the same. Unfortunately, that I know of, there is no real test that you know, tells you whether you're type 2 or not. You know, doctors make an assumption as to uh, if, if you are overweight and uh, you're, they'll do a test on you call it A1C, um, the hemoglobin um, uh, A1C test to see what your sugar levels is like. And based on uh, what your sugar level has been for the past three months, they make a determination whether there's a possibility of you having diabetes. But in truth, uh, that doesn't determine whether you have diabetes or not. It just means that you have high blood sugar. Um, and um, uh, they'll just prescribe to you some medications and stuff to help you be insulin resistant. Um, and if, if you're not diabetic, I guess it can help to uh, uh, some extent. Um, but, um, yeah, they're really not the same. I, there exists, because you don't hear about it, there exists people who are very, very thin and have type 2 diabetes. Also, people who have LADA, you know, latent autoimmune deficiency, often have, well, I, I shouldn't say often, but, um, a, according to the American Diabetes Association, there's a lot of people who have a lot of who also happen to have some form of insulin resistance. In my humble opinion, I believe that one should focus on, if you are overweight, um, one should focus on controlling their blood sugars first because the blood sugars, the high blood sugars is what um, devastates the body the quickest. If you are able to control your blood sugars, then you can Im almost immediately uh, reverse any possible compl diabetic complications. Um, if you focus on losing weight and you eat less, of course, that's going to affect your blood sugars. It's, it's, it's going to, you know, it's going to lower, but you're not going to lose 50 pounds by tomorrow. You know, it's going to take time to lose weight. It's going to take time to find a diet that's right for you. Not every diet is going to work for everyone 
Again, medications can make things difficult for you to lose weight. So it's just, in my opinion, I think if, if you want to really impact your body and your health quickly, I think it's, I think it's important to focus um, on your blood sugars uh, first. And also to love yourself and to forgive yourself for failures. If you don't lose two pounds, three pounds tomorrow um, or, or by next week, I mean, it's okay. There's always the week after that. The important thing is that you get up on that horse and ride it and, and, and continue doing whatever it is that you need to do. We all have diabetic burnouts. I know. I know. I live with this disease 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We never get a day off from our diabetes. So I know what it's like having burnout. But having a burnout doesn't mean that you should use that as an excuse to never continue with the fight with diabetes. Because it is so crucial that we keep our, our uh, sugar levels under control. Whether we are fat or skinny. Whether you are type 1 or type 2. Because the bottom line is... If neither one of us takes care of our blood sugars, and if they are constantly three and four hundred uh, milligrams per deciliter every day, every day, we will all suffer the same consequences. So I hope this video has um, explained to you um, what insulin resistance is, and um, I look forward to uh, doing my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.